Good afternoon. Thank you so much for inviting me to the peer-to-peer -peer, um, program here at Montgomery College. My name is Sean Harrison, and I'm the Director of Public Safety and Emergency Management for the college. Um, a little bit about myself. I have been in, in the profession of public safety um, and policing for over 30 years. I, between, be, I pretend to be 29, but I'm not. I know I'm not. So anyway, <laughs> uh, again, I'm so glad you all invited me to this. This is one group I was telling Dr. Rashaw that I rarely get to talk to. Um, and I miss you guys because you are the ones that are out and about on campus. You all are the ones who see things that are going on. And you are my uh, deputies, I will say, because I look to you, to you all to report things to my public safety department um, that you see on campus that may not be good, um, may not feel right to you, or may make you comfortable. So today I'm going to talk to you about some safety tips for you all. Um, to be safe as you walk about the campus, through the various buildings, travel back and forth between campuses. Is that okay? Yes. Yeah. Okay, great, great, great. So Montgomery College Public Safety Department works hard to maintain a safe and secure environment in which we can learn and work. If you feel unsafe or observe, or observe a crime, we urge you to call the security office or 911 immediately. How many of you all know the public safety uh, phone numbers for your campuses. One person, write this down, students. <laughs> At the Germantown campus, they are located in SA 282, and their phone number is 240-567-7777. At the Rockville campus, they're in CB 101, and again, that's 240-567-5111. And at the Tacoma Park Silver Spring Campus, they're in ST117-240-567-1700. The most important thing you can do to protect yourself um, as you walk about the campus is really to be aware of your surroundings all the time. Don't walk with your earbuds in your ear. Don't walk being distracted. Walk with purpose. Walk and look around. Um, and see what's going on around you. You never know who is watching you or who is lurking in the shadows, I will say, and may have a different motive for your well-being on the campus. So be, please be aware of your surrounding. Um, quite often we are distracted. Everybody walks around with a phone in their hand. I'm very guilty of the same thing. But take a minute in these environments to keep yourself safe at all times. Um, how many of you have seen the campus safety um, actor shooter video. Oh my, wow, I should have pulled that up for you all. Please take a minute to go to www.montgomerycollege.edu slash emergencies. Look under emergency procedures and look for the active shooter video and take a minute to watch that. As you know, that is a horrific event that is going on or has occurred across the country. Our campuses are not immune for that type of uh, treatment or type of um, event that could occur. So I want you all to be aware of how to hunt, run, which is what we teach here, hide or fight, um, in the midst that we have a campus uh, shooter or shooter on our campuses. Um, hopefully not, but I just want everybody to be aware. I get this a lot from the students that you aren't aware of the type of uh, programming we have out here for your protection. Again, go on to the, it's actually under facilities and public safety website, and you will see some things that will also help you be safe as you move about the college. How many of you are signed up for MC Alert? Great. Thank you very much. That's the communication. Um, when I got here, we had a difficult time getting messages out quickly and across many platforms, meaning email, text, phone calls, social media, to let you know about what was going on um, on the campuses. So now with that platform in place, everybody signed up. You all will get the information in a timely fashion. So I hope you all sign up and spread that word on the campus that we really need you to do that. We offer many services here to keep you safe. One is our 24-hour escort service. It is by request, but if you're here late at night or early in the morning, you feel uncomfortable walking from your car to a building, pick up the phone and dial one of those numbers I gave you and ask for an escort. 
And I will say this out loud and into the camera. If you ever get a response that they are not available or they don't provide that, please call me directly, okay? That is something we provide, and I insist that my officers participate uh, with the person who's making that phone call. So remember the 24-hour escort service, because we are one of the few entities that's here 24 hours a day, seven days a week. We are here. Whether it's snowing, raining, we're like the mailman. We are in the weather. You can always pick up a phone. You can always call into our public safety office and get someone on the phone. We are here. Uh, we provide first aid. All of my officers are first aid certified. Um, they're also AED certified. So if we have someone who has a cardiac event or something like that, we are able to provide assistance until um, local law enforcement or emergency personnel arrive. Okay, throughout the year, we provide training, again, on evacuations, whether it's just a fire alarm, again, whether it's an active shooter event or something like that, we provide training. And again, you're the group that I seem to miss. Um, if you feel like you would like to have us come in to your group um, and give you a, a specific training, please don't hesitate to call me. I'm at 4240-567-4292, and we can make arrangements for that for your group. Okay, every year on October the 1st, the college is mandated by federal law to put out what we call the Annual Security Report, or ASR. Every college in the United States has to report out to the Department of Higher Ed what we call Part 1 Crime Statistics, meaning any homicides that occur on a campus, any rapes, any robberies, any assaults that occur that are based on biases, whether it's religious or gender or anything like that, we are mandated to do that. Inside of this document, and we call it uh, ASR, um, inside of this document tells you about, again, these type of services we offer, who we partner with, how to reach your local police departments, uh, trainings that are available, whether it's from student affairs in terms of sexual assault or domestic violence, stalking, things like that. So please look for that every October the 1st. I always tell parents this, and parents don't normally look for this document, but they should, because it kind of tells you how a campus is operating, whether they're having a lot of assaults or any type of crime on their campuses. So take a look at our report, it's very good. Uh, we have a few hiccups, you know, around the campus, but normally what occurs on our campuses seems to be, um, more of a neglectful type issue in terms of theft. You plug up your phone, you walk away from it, you leave your iPad sitting in the front seat of your car in plain view, things like that that occur, which make um, these crimes very easy to happen. So we ask you, again, to hide your materials, hide things, don't leave your phone unattended. Um, we had some assaults on the campus, but for us, it seems to be our transient population, people who are not affiliated with the college, but we have a metro system that comes through, you know, the campuses, they ride the bus, they get off, and they blend in. Everybody carries a backpack. You know, students range from ages of, what, 16 to whatever, and again, they just blend right in. No one really notices. So those are the type of crimes that seem to occur on our campus. But again, it's a very safe environment. We work very hard to do that. Um, again, to keep you all uh, safe. So I have some general crime tips for you, and they would include, again, be aware and recognize how vulnerable you are. We really are because we're not paying attention to our environment. We get out the car, we got books in our hands, we got the phone in the other hand, and we're just walking about. We're not being aware of where we are. That's very important. Uh, we ask you to report all suspicious activities. Again, if it's out of place, if you see maybe an incident between some students or people on the campus, just take your cell phone, which normally you have in your hand, or uh, go to a blue light phone and report these type of things to our public safety office so we can investigate. Lock your doors to your, car, your vehicles, um, or let's say you're in a building alone in the evening or early in the morning, lock the door, make yourself secure, and let somebody know that you're here. Quite often I'll get um, faculty uh, when the college is closed for breaks that want to come into their offices and we have no idea they're there. Something could happen. They could have a heart attack, they could pass out, need medical help, but we have no idea that they're in the building. So that's important. Um, 
Look for the, make note of the emergency phones that are on the campuses and inside some of the buildings, and also your exits. Always know where you are and how you get out of here. You know, and that's very important. We have posters in the classrooms with evacu uh, evacuation routes on them. Make note of that when you start your classes. How do I get out the building if something happens? Okay, never walk alone, especially young ladies. You know, we've done that for many, many years. I know our parents tell that. Go to the restroom with somebody, you know. Stay in pairs is always better when you double up. Uh, confine walking to your well-lit areas if you can. Some of the campuses have lights that are out or something. Again, that's reportable. Call the public safety department, call facilities, and tell them where you are, what building you're in front of, and that it's dark. And we will get out there as soon as we can to make that lighting better for everybody. Um, don't accept rides from casual acquaintances. I know we all ride Ubers and Lyft and things like that, but even with that, check out that person. If something happens, we want to know from you what that person looked like, what did they say, what did they smell like. Things like that are very helpful in investigations moving forward. When you get out of your car, take a look around, okay? Make sure it looks safe. Make sure um, nothing is sticking out or making you feel, again, uncomfortable. And if it is, get back in. Lock your door and move. Get away from it. Don't stand there and become a victim if you don't have to. Um, if you think you're being followed, take these little simple steps. Cross the street and keep crossing the street until you feel safe, okay? Because the person doesn't want to really have to track you down or run you down, okay? They want the easy target who's going to freeze up or just stand there. Move about, keep moving, you know, until you feel better or until you can get to an office or dial uh, 911 on your phone. Um, again, call my department at any time of the day or night. We are here to assist you. Um, can I answer any questions for you all? Yes. Mm -hmm. um, I remember you mentioned the ASR. Tell me your name. Uh, my name is Dominic Wallace. Hi, hey, Dominic. Um, nice I'm, to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. I'm a math major, and I uh, go to the Tacoma Park campus. Okay. Um, I, I remember you mentioning uh, the ASR report. Annual security report. Yes. Um, how does the school protect students from biased crimes? I remember you saying that they collect data on it, but how exactly do they protect their students? Well, we try to put out enough programs, um, and, and we partner with the, um, oh my goodness, Student Affairs. We partner with you all for different programming out here. Again, if you feel like you're being targeted, if you see things that are posted, anything that's out of the ordinary or makes your particular group or you in general feel like you're being targeted or, or subject of that type of bias, let us know. So at least we can remove the documents and ensure your safety. Um, unfortunately, we can't catch these people because I've seen some posters on the uh, Rockville campus that we've had removed. Um, don't play into it in the sense of um, this is targeted at me, but I'm not going to tell anybody. We, don't, we can't do anything if we don't know. So we try to get out there and reassure you all that we will not tolerate those type of things on the campus. Okay, tell me your name. My name is Kiyosha Bud. Kiyosha? Kiyosha Bud. I'm on the Germantown campus. Mm -hmm. I'm majoring in criminal justice. And Ooh, good. I, and my question is, how do I report a concern about a distressed or disturbed person on campus? Straight to my public safety officers and, and ask them, tell them who the person is, if you don't mind. Um, sometimes people want to remain anonymous, but it's best if you can disclose to us who this person is. Tell us what they're displaying, you know, what's out of the ordinary, what's making you or the people around you uncomfortable, and we will forward that information to the proper entity on the college. Uh, we may also notify local police if you think that's uh, very serious in nature, and help. Then they will assist us with um, in that situation. Mm -hmm. Hi. <laughs> Hello. Uh, my name is Muriel Titigon. Muriel. I'm at the Jamatan campus. Mm -hmm. I'm majoring in business. So my question is, when you receive those alerts, how do you investigate the case? We actually go out to see where the complaint came from. Okay, so you're saying the MC alerts, when we send them out? Mm -hmm. 
Normally, a report has been made to us, and we have investigated it. Uh, we are mandated to send out a timely warning or early notification of any events that occur on the ca uh, college campus. Also, that's in the annual security report. So once we have investigated it, then we put out the information to the college community of what has occurred and any steps we can take or you all can take to help us uh, find out what occurred. Okay. Thank mm -hmm. you. You're welcome. Can you repeat your number again? My please? number is 240-567-4292. Thank you very much. Right. Um, my name is Abdurrahman Afifi. I'm a bioengineering major. Okay. Um, and I go to the Rockville campus mainly. Okay. Uh, there was this one time that I was walking. This is a personal story, and I have a question about it. Okay. So there was this one time I was walking out of a building at Rockville and there was a girl standing next to me with a religious scarf on, mm -hmm. um, covers her entire face and hair. Mm -hmm. And I was carrying a robot for my engineering course. Mm -hmm. And there was a professor, or I believe a professor, walking next to me. And he looked at me, looked at my hand, looked at her, looked back at me, and then proceeded to ask me if I was carrying a bomb. Wow. Um, How inappropriate. Go ahead. Extremely. So we looked at each other, and she answered, no, that's for his engineering class, and we parted. Mm -hmm. What do you recommend if students were to receive a, a question like that or something similar based off of profiling, need, what to do? Just right. Simple answer. You have to report it. You report okay. it to my officers, the encounter, where it took place, um, any witnesses to this encounter, um, and how it made you feel. You know, and that's really important. Um, we don't, you, you should not, and in my profession, again, I've been in policing a long time. I can't dismiss people's feelings. I can't pick and choose who I serve. Um, I can't say, oh, I like her better than you. I'm not going to save him. I'm going to save her. My badge doesn't allow me to do that, and I'm very sincere when I say that. Um, so, again, that type of incident, first of all, should never occur. I think it's very inappropriate. Um, number two, it should be reported. And I hate to say it, it may have to go down in our books. Now, because we are a security department for now, because I'm pushing to be something else, um, we will report that to the local police department. And we may bring in some counselors, or we may bring in another group that can really explain these biases and how they make other people feel. But in terms of me personally, not tolerated. Okay, I wish you had told us that earlier. Uh, I thank you for telling your story now, but I've been involved in this type of work for a long time, and I've seen those things. It's the ugly, nasty thing that just should not uh, occur anywhere. Continuing off of that question, mm -hmm. when you're stuck in that situation, before you can go report it, mm -hmm. what would you recommend for somebody to say to the other person? You know what? In that type of situation, you have to look at your safety first. If you respond, if you have a rebuttal, are you making yourself uh, a target of further negative conversation or maybe even violence? You don't know what that person is thinking. You know, for someone to make that comment, you got to wonder, okay, in this day and age. But, you know, you always look at your safety first. So if you felt offended and you felt like you had a right, what you do, to respond to it, you should have. You know, but you also have to be aware of what the consequences are for that. But again, in those situations, you report that and let us know. And especially, you're talking about a member of our faculty or staff or someone um, acting in that manner. I don't think the college would have taken that very lightly. Thank you're you. You're welcome. You are welcome. Mm -hmm. Any more questions? Come on. Tell me about your, uh, just, you might deflect a little bit. You're a criminal justice major. What's your plan? Um, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know yet what I want to do with it, but I think I want to be like become a lawyer one day. Mm, interesting. Yeah, because I like helping people. Okay. So that would be an interesting field to go in. To. Okay. Good for you. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Um, so um, after I heard... Um, of the story, mm -hmm. um, I, uh, I'm wondering about the reporter. So someone who's not really a victim mm -hmm. report the story. Mm -hmm. uh, have in your experience, like have have you ever seen the reporter in danger? So become the next target of the, the for mm. example. To answer your question, no, I have not. 
I have seen people get in trouble in terms of the person who made the derogatory comment. I have seen that occur. But I haven't seen a person who was the victim of that um, be targeted or get in trouble. We try to cut it off real quick. So, no, I have not. Oh, okay. Because sometimes, like, people are afraid to report. I because know. Because they afraid of retaliation. Retaliation or things like that. And you know what? I understand that. But sometimes we got to take that step. Because again, we can't fix it if we don't know what it is. I tell people that all the time. I got to know about it so I can fix it. Um, I get these, what I call uh, hallway conversations that people want to report to me as we're walking down the hall. And I have to stop and say, wait a minute, let me get one of my officers here and let's get this on paper. That's the best way of reporting. And those things, believe it or not, our reports can go to the local police department and they look at that data. So it's not just confined to Montgomery College. They look at it around the county. Where are these incidents taking place? Where are these comments, you know, taking place? And they report out on this as well. You know, um, we are extremely diverse on this college campus, and I'm sure your story or what you may have heard or not heard is, is, is much, much more frank, frequent than is actually reported. You know, but really to get to the bottom of it or try to stem it off, it really needs to be documented and sent to the proper authorities. No more questions? No? All right. Well, it has been my absolute pleasure. You have my number, and I'm very serious. When I say call me, please call me. If I'm not in, leave me a message and I will get back to you. This is my group. This is, again, I tell every meeting I go to, I'm like, this is the one group I always want to connect with. And I have, I'm never invited or I don't get, you know, the time. But I really appreciate you all inviting me in today. I hope that my uh, simple message was good. Okay? Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs>